Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 17th of 2021. Well, it is titled the surface of Venus from Venera 13. So what do we see here? Well, here's an image from uh, 1982. And in fact, March of 1982, when Venera 13 landed on the surface of Venus. And that was one of the few times we've actually had a direct look at the surface of this planet. And that is because there are a great layer of clouds that completely block it. So not only telescopes from Earth cannot see it, the surface, I mean, and neither can the spacecraft in orbit around Venus. It is completely shrouded in clouds and it is impossible to see through that. Now we have mapped it out in great detail with things like the Magellan spacecraft using radar. So longer radar waves are able to penetrate through the clouds and to give us a view of the surface. But it still isn't quite the same as getting an image from the surface. And here is one from Venera. And you can see part of the spacecraft in the foreground with one of the arm, one of the uh, legs sticking out towards the left hand side. And then the surface of Venus, very flat, a lot of flat rocks scattered across off into the distance. And we see it looks much like a deserted area on the Earth, some very dry desert areas. And the what we don't see here are some of the very big differences between it and Earth. So one of the reasons that we have not landed many craft on Venus are, beca are because the surface has such inhospitable conditions. And in fact, the temperature uh, reaches many hundreds of degrees. So extremely hot, uh, hitting seven or 800 degrees Fahrenheit. And so really, really hot temperatures. It also has extremely high pressures between 50 and 100 times that of Earth. So the atmospheric pressure is very high. And also up in the atmosphere, there are layers of sulfuric acid clouds. Now combined together, this makes it very difficult for any craft landing on Venus as it is going to have a significant effect on their systems when it has to pass through that material, and even to be able to survive on the surface. So the longest lasting spacecraft that landed on Venus only lasted about an hour and a half. And that's about it about all they were able to hold up to. So even though Venus has many things in a uh, that are very uh, comparable to Earth, it is much less well explored than the other planet a little further out from Earth, which would be Mars. Mars has had far more spacecraft uh, study it and has had many rovers on the surface and many landers on the surface to be able to explore it because the conditions there are much better. But here we still see an image taken nearly 40 years ago and still being studied today to help give us a better understanding of the planet and our solar system that in in size and mass and other things is most like our Earth. So that was our picture of the day for March the 17th of 2021. It was titled The Surface of Venus from Venera 13. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.